By the way, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy S20 smartphones, I will drop the links to this case down below. It's an official Samsung case, highly protective and simply fantastic. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the task changer for your Samsung smartphone. So here's what I'm talking about. When I tap on the Recents app, what I get is a beautiful and slim list view. Now, this is a feature that was built in to Samsung smartphones a while back, but they took away the feature. But thankfully, Samsung does have an application that makes this possible. So let's dive in and talk about how to get this done right over here so you can easily see all your applications and swipe them away when you don't need them. And of course, you can still tap on the individual applications to access the little functions on each one of these applications, all right? All right, so normally when you tap on this button, this is what you get, and there's nothing wrong with this, but some people simply don't like this because it takes too much space and you have to scroll through all of them to see what's happening, all right? So that's why a lot of people used to prefer the list view, and of course, when they saw this in my video, in the last couple of videos, people are asking, how are you doing the slim list view? All right, so all you do, the first step is go to the Galaxy Store, and some of you guys may already know the answer to this, but what you need to download is you need to download the Good Luck application, all right? So you search for Good Luck application in the actual Galaxy Store, not the Play Store, and then you download the Good Luck application, you open the application, and what you wanna download is you wanna go to the unit and download the Task Changer application. The first time you tap on this, it's gonna take you to the store, boom, you download that and install that, then you go back into it, let me just go back into it, and then you tap on it, and it's going to take you to the Task Changer menu. Now what you have to do over here is you have to tap this button, and then you pick the layout type, Slim List. And that's when you get this beautiful little slim list. Now I do wanna let you know that there's other things you can do here as well, so if you tap on this one, you also go to the Stack View, which gives you this view right here, okay, uh, which is not bad at all, uh, but not too different from what you already have. You can go to the list view, uh, which gives you a list, but they're a little bit larger, so you can at least see the preview on each one of them. Or you can go to the grid view, which is what, what which is this one right here. And if I tap it again, I can go to the uh, this one right over here. So when I tap this one, look at that nice little effect, all right? So tap on that one as well, and then I can finally uh, pick the vertical stack view, which is this one right here, something we have seen before. Uh, in older versions also. But of course, this one right here is my very favorite. Now on top of that, if you scroll down, with every single layout, you get the option to set some details. So I can blur the background. If I tap on this one, the, the background is not blurred, all right? But if I tap it again, now the background is in fact blurred. And of course, I can do the uh, gesture cube effect. I can switch to previous apps with gestures. You can do all that good stuff if you want it right from here. And again, if you go to uh, various different options, you can you get more options at the bottom. So if you pick the, a certain layout type, you get more detailed settings at the bottom. For example, with this one, you get the mini mode. I can tap on this one, and I got the mini mode, all right? Uh, if you don't do it, you get the maximum mode. But of course, I'm gonna stick with this one right here, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna prefer this one as well, because it makes it very nice, clean, and easy. All right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.